Heidi, ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today, along with my son Nathaniel. He's going to be the cameraman today. Guys, we have our pressure washer here that we're getting ready to use today. Uh, we're going to clean up the old uh, truck, the F-150. And I decided that we need to change the oil in this thing. We're going to change the oil in the engine and also the pump. I don't even think I've actually changed the oil in this pump since I bought this pump. I'll tell you a little bit about this pressure washer. I purchased it probably 15 years ago from Home Depot, I do believe. It's a Generac residential pressure washer. I think it's a six horsepower Briggs engine on here. Yes, six horsepower Briggs engine. And I've never had a problem with the engine. Now what I did have a problem with one time, this is the second pump that I put on this engine. Uh, the original one blew up and dumped all the oil out in the driveway one time when I was pressure washing. So I went by a local supplier and it sold pumps and, and engines and stuff like that for this type of equipment. We matched and crossed over the pump that was on here to this one. This one actually looked a little bit different, but it bolted right in place. I've had good luck with it ever since. So guys, that's the history behind this pressure washer. But today, we're gonna to go ahead and change the oil. This is the, we're gonna change the oil in the pump and also in the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and back out the fill plug, okay, for the, um, for the pump. I'll just set it right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the fill plug off of the engine as well. We'll fill it on this side, okay? And then if you'll notice, I've already found a square drive to fit my drain plug down here. We're gonna drain, we're gonna, we had to break it loose. It's actually pretty tight. We're gonna try to slide a drain bucket underneath there. And here's our other fill on this engine, okay? So probably what we'll do, we'll pull that out. We'll, uh, we'll drain it and we're gonna fill the engine. We'll fill it on this side because it's easier to get to. And we'll leave this out till it's just at the bottom of these threads on this side. We'll, we'll visually inspect that till we get that level like that. Um, on the pump, there's a drain plug underneath here that you're not gonna be able to see. Just come a little closer, Nathaniel. Um, we're not gonna be able to see this, but it's where my finger is. I believe that's where we're gonna end up draining the oil out of the pump. Uh, of course, I told you we had a fill plug right here. And over here on the side, we have a sight glass, okay? And I'll take my flashlight, and as we're filling it, hopefully we'll be able to see when we get the level to the middle of the sight glass, and then we'll be good to go. And let me back off just a minute. Let me show the good people what type of oil we're putting in here. Now, your pump may be different, but I've done a little research. Um, I, there's a label over here on this side. Come around here. Show them that I think it says Comet, and it give a part number to this pump. And I just done a simple Google search, like what type of oil goes in that brand and model of pump. And here's what I come up with. It's just a straight 30 non-detergent oil that goes in your pressure washer pump. Probably gonna fit most of your pressure washer pumps that you run into. And on our engine here, we're gonna use a 10W30 uh, um, conventional oil. I think that's what this is. Yeah, it's just a conventional 10W30. We'll fill our engine with that, and then we should be good to go. So stay tuned as we get this done. Okay, guys, what we're gonna use to drain this thing today, my other <clears throat> oil pan wouldn't fit underneath here, but we got this cookie sheet, and I think this ought to hold at least a half a quart of oil, uh, half a quart to a quart, because I don't think this thing will hold much more. And if we gotta stick the plug back in there right quick, we will. I've already got this somewhat loose. Let me go ahead and finish it okay see if i can back it out by hand some of it should run straight down through the hole there some of it may actually want to kick over here on the side but our pan should catch it there we go there we go see like i was telling you this thing's probably low in oil we're gonna let that sit there and drain a little bit folks and uh and then we'll continue on Okay, folks, as you can see, <clears throat> we have our pan underneath there catching that oil. Let's go ahead and drain this at the same time. And I believe what's going to happen is it's going to try to run down the front here, I do believe. And if not, we'll guide it down there if we have to. And let's just see what happens when we pull this 10 millimeter headed plug out of here. 
I think this is for the oil. I'm not 100% sure. This could be a drain off for the water when you store it for the winter time. I'm not real sure yet. But we're gonna find out here real quick. And you know what? That was a water drain off right there. There's no oil coming out of there at all. So I'm gonna put this plug back in and we'll look for another one. Okay, folks, we look for another drain plug underneath this thing and I do not see one. So we just put the water drain back in there. That's actually a good thing to know. Uh, guys, before you store your pressure washer every winter, um, I usually just try to make sure all the water's out of here just by pulling it, pulling it and getting everything out of here. But knowing that there's a drain underneath there is actually a great thing. So for now, and I'll just pull that out, let the water drain out before storing it for the winter time. So we're gonna pull this sight glass off of the side here. And we're just gonna let as much of it drain out as we can. And we might actually tilt, tilt it over here in just a second to see how much of this oil we can get out. And this oil is really dirty. Okay, so changing this is gonna probably prolong the life of this unit. Cause like I say, I have never changed it. Which reminds me guys, we're going to have a lot of videos coming here soon. We're going to service, put the camera back on me just a second. I probably look goofy with this hat on like this. But we are going to uh, service all of our shop equipment, okay? We're going to figure out what it takes to, uh, what type of oils and everything. We're going to do our lawnmower, which we do that sometimes. Probably not as often as we should, but we'll do a video on that as well. Um... I'm trying to think of everything else that we're going to do. Of course, the stump grinder, first time we service it, we're going to make a video of that as well. And we got a brake leg behind here <clears throat> that probably needs to have a service as well. We're going to have to do a little bit of research and figure out what type of oil goes in it. But that's some stuff we got coming up here this year, guys. Actually, probably before the summertime, so you can get all your spring servicing done before you start doing your yard work and everything. All right, now, Nathaniel. Just watch me here. I'm going to tilt this over, bring the camera down here. And guys, you can see this oil is running out. Okay. So you're running out pretty good. So we're going to just let her keep on running out there. Get as much of it as we can out. If we don't get every drop, that's fine too. We'll at least have some fresh oil in this system. And we'll try to make it a routine thing that we do at least yearly. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, drain plug back in. I think we got all the oil out of the crankcase. So we'll go ahead and tighten that up, pull our tool off of here, and we'll go ahead and put bring the camera right over here. Folks, we actually had a little mess here. I think we overfilled our uh, drain plug here, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of cleaning here in a minute. But we'll worry about that here in a few. Let's go ahead and put this uh, sight glass slash drain plug back in our pump and it's made out of plastic. So I'm just gonna slightly snug it down with a pair of pliers. That's what I broke it loose with. Don't need a whole lot of torque on that, I don't believe. We're gonna wipe all this up real quick, guys. I'm gonna clean up our little oil mess and then we'll fill this thing up. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, we're gonna fill our pump first, okay? I think this is gonna be the hardest thing for me to do because I've got to be able to uh, Take my flashlight and look through the little viewfinder here and hopefully be able to see when the oil level is going up, okay? And this thing could be discolored, you know? So I'm not really sure. And I'll show you this right quick. This here is actually a little filling tool that come with this container for our stump grinder. It works really good on small engines, okay? We'll actually put some 10W30 in that here in a minute and fill our engine. But for right now, we're using just the little tube here. So let me cut my flashlight off and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of oil in here. And remember in the, in the uh, uh, pump here, it is a straight 30 non-detergent motor oil. This stuff looks almost like crystal clear. That's some crystal clear oil right there, guys. I'll tell you what. And I can see the level going up. You know what? 
I just watched it go all the way to the top and stop. I think I might have the correct amount in there right now. That might've been all it took right there, guys. You definitely don't want to overfill it because you'll end up, um, if you overfill it, you will have uh, no room for expansion and that could possibly cause the uh, unit to actually blow. But that right there is definitely at the top of that oil level line right there. <clears throat> Let's see here, actually I'm looking here on the pump and it tells you right there, oil level, okay? I might be just a tad past the oil level, but I see an air bubble right there. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna call that done, guys. So let me pull my tube out of here and we will take our cap here and we're gonna go ahead and let's wipe off any dirt that might be on it and we'll go ahead and screw it back in. And this part of it is done. Stay tuned and we'll fill up the crankcase. Okay, folks, we're gonna use our 10W30 uh, conventional oil. And I'm gonna start with just filling this thing up about halfway. I think that'd be about a half a quart or so. Actually right there. Yeah, that's about a half a quart right there. I'll show you right here on the little thing. We're between the four and the six. And because I got a feeling this thing probably don't hold much more than a half a quart. It may hold a tad more. I'm not going to bother Googling it. So we're going to start here by filling. And as I fill, I'm going to move myself over here. And I want to look in the other side where the, and I want to watch it as it goes up the threads. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit and then we'll maneuver ourselves over to the other side. Okay, guys, down here where the drain is, I'm sitting here. I poured a little bit of oil in there and I'm watching it come up the threads, okay? And it's about halfway up the threads right there. So I'm going to stop. And that was not even a half a quart of oil. But we should be good to go right there. As you can see, it's, it's up about midway the threads, okay? So you'll have to probably get a flashlight to where you can see that, like I'm, like I'm doing here. Because like I can say, this engine doesn't have like a dipstick. Some of your engines will have a dipstick. But some of these little small engines, they don't. But you don't want to overfill the crankcase or your crank will be slinging in oil and it'll actually won't be good for it and it probably won't perform as well either so let me put these plugs back in and we'll talk about this job as it's completing okay folks i want to thank you for stopping by and checking out our little video today on changing the oil and your pressure washer and your generac residential pressure washer and your pressure washer pump very important thing to do. Make sure you service it and keep it um, oil changed in it as well, okay? For a long life. And uh, we learned something new today. We learned about the little drain plug to drain the water out of your pump uh, when storing it for the winter time. So just a little tidbit of information to help uh, prolong the life of your pump so it doesn't freeze up in case you live in a colder climate. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other two channels, RJW Financial Coaching. There'll be a link down below. There'll also be a link to the personal body makeover. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Take care.